He was willing to talk for 24 hours straight. Mm. Hatred is one hell of a thing, ain't it? One hell of a drug. Can you imagine being that racist that you're willing to sit there and talk for 24 hours straight? Whew. So during this era of the civil rights era, where these, the uh, Southern senators are just kiboshing, torpedo, torpedoing every single legislation for civil rights, the majority leader at the time, Mike Mansfield, decides after he gets sick of it. You know, he's tired of all of this freaking filibustering. And so he decides to make another change to the rules. Okay? Remember, it's debate, vote, on whether to end the debate. And then if you have enough votes to end the debate, you can then vote on the actual legislation. Debate, vote, vote, right? And by the way, that vote, when you have enough votes to end, uh, when you have enough votes to end the debate, that is called cloture, okay? If you've ever heard that word cloture, that's what they're talking about. They're trying to achieve cloture. That means that they have enough to end the debate and they can actually vote on the legislation, okay? So that's how we've been doing it. Debate, vote, vote. Now, Mike um, Mansfield comes in and he drops the debate. So instead of debate, vote, vote, he says, fuck that. Let's just go straight to the vote. Let's go straight to the vote to see if we can even end debate. Fuck the fuck debate. Let's just go straight to the vote and see if anybody's even interested in voting on this at all. So no more debate. Now we just, if there's legislation before we even think about anything, we just have a vote to see if people are interested in taking this to an actual real vote for the legislation. So in effect, what he does is he basically strengthens the filibuster and makes it easier to use because now you don't actually have to filibuster. You don't actually have to sit there and stand there and talk for 24 hours straight. You can just threaten that you're going to do that by voting that you're going to do that. Are you, do you see how this works? So in effect, he made filibustering even easier. Even easier because you don't even have to do the actual act of the filibuster anymore. You can just threaten to do it through your vote. So now it's vote, vote, fuck debate, vote, vote. Okay. And at some point, um, down the line, they lower that, th that two thirds threshold. They lower it to three fifths. Okay. So, or they raise, yeah, they lower it to three fifths. So basically, you know, it's a lower threshold, but still it's, you still in today's, uh, Senate needs 60 votes. 60 votes just to even vote on the bill. You got to get 60 senators to agree to say, yes, we are going to agree to end the, the, the invisible hypothetical filibuster and actually vote on this. Okay. And so obviously if you're a thinking person, you can see where there might be some consequences from this, where there might be some issues that arise from this. First and foremost, you have a situation where a minority of senators can hold up and stop the progress of legislation from a majority of senators who, remember, represent a majority of the people. <laughs> 